How the heck are you, everybody? I'm Fastidious. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Dragonair Silent Gods video. Here we are, live in Dragonair Silent Gods. If you're not yet playing, be sure to use my link in the description or the top pinned comment so you can get in here and join me. It's available on PC, Epic Games, Steam, and of course mobile. Here we are now on the PC client, but we're doing summons today, so let's absolutely get after it. Why am I doing summons? Well, let me go and let me show you. Fastidious. Fastidious. Actually, best if I show you over here, if we go to Clepsidra's Tale, uh, excuse me, Clepsidra's Trail, you'll see we have just over 25 days left in Season 1. We are in the home stretch. I was joined in my last video by Odd One, Odd One Gaming. Definitely go check him out. Uh, and he was saying, we're going to need 15 teams. So I've been leveling guys up. I've been improving my teams, I hope. But as you'll see, I don't have so many epic heroes. I don't have such an amazing roster. Maybe better if I show you guys like this. Um, I think I need a few more units if I really want to actually compete at the end of this season. Uh, and, you know, we actually do have a nice handful of epics, but a lot of these guys aren't too good. And with one of the blessed summonings we have right now, this is like the selector banners kind of thing. If you do 25 Heliolite die summons, you can see I've got 14, but I've got an absolute mountain of the premium currency, Veer Maro, over here. Uh, you'll see if we go to load, 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 I believe it, it's this one right here, Blessing Summon number one. There's two days and five hours left, so that's like kind of why I want to do it now. I got to make this decision soon. At number 25, we've got a selector, an epic selector bundle. So this like way I can guarantee myself something, and on it is Vichuk, who's a support hero I really, really want. So actually, let me tell you what he's all about right now, and then we're going to get to summoning. And now you know, this is going to be quite the video. We're doing guaranteed 25 Heliolite die summon. Essentially, the reason I'm so excited about Vichuk is he's poison. Obviously, fire and poison is the main elemental duo that I've invested in in Season 1. All the uh, affinity pairings, the elemental affinity pairings, are going to switch in Season 2. But he just seems like an absolute rock star hero. Odd One recommended him to me a bunch. And just looking at his kit, right, when the hero is inflicted with a debuff... Uh, it's going to really lower the chance it's going to happen again because now there's a 100% chance he's going to put Accuracy Penalty 2 on whoever the debuff caster was lasting for 5 seconds. Now his battle skill, Valor of the Forest, you can see he's going to deal poison damage, but really nice, 100% chance with skill ups that he's going to land the big attack penalty 2, 50% attack reduction on the enemies. Uh, and what's really nice about this is it's a nice little AoE range. Uh, you can see uh, it's going to be all the enemies within range. It's this nice little square in front of him. And then finally, Blessing of the Forest, crazy range on this, dispels uh, two debuffs from each ally and heals them. Uh, so basically, it's going to be all the all the allies, right? It's covering everyone. So all allies, he's going to dispel two debuffs. Debuff dispel is super strong in this game. And I have some, you know, I've got Nathaniel, I've got Hexandra, but I need something a bit better. Uh, and then also for each debuff su successfully dispelled on an ally, uh, healing on that ally is increased by 25%. So all in all, he's going to have a nice heal and it will be even better when he, uh, it's based off his max HP too, which just plays really well into building him. Uh, and it'll be even better once he cleanses them a little bit. So you can see why I like this guy, why I want this guy. I think I can fit him right into my Vortex team. Uh, and I think he's going to help us carry, uh, he's going to help carry us and carry our fi fire poison dual elemental teams and a lot of the the end of season one end game content and hopefully along the way as well maybe we pick up some great legendary heroes or other good epics other heroes that can fill out our roster and then we can make those 15 teams we need to properly perform here at the end of season one so what are we going to pick right we've got blessed summons one but you have to select three blessed uh, legendary heroes that you'll have the increased rates on. If you don't know how this works, basically you have an increased chance of obtaining one of the blessed ones uh, if you don't originally hit one. We're going to have to get fairly lucky here. And then I actually don't know this next part. Increasing rule, after summoning a non-blessed legendary hero, the chances of obtaining a blessed one will be increased 2, 6, 20 times the initial rate. Uh, so you can kind of, you know, narrow in on hitting them later on. So who are we going to snag? Well, I asked Odd One, and I asked, of course, HWZ, HDubs, go check, check him out as well. Two experts in the game. And uh, they agreed on, they, I asked them for which three I should choose, and two of the three that both of them said were exactly the same. So these ones seems like the no-brainers. We've got Golenda over here, who's going to be like a nice necrotic support. And then we also have Alton, who's going to be a rally hero from uh, the Radiance element. Seem they both, these were on the top of both of their lists. Then, uh, it was kind of between, do I want to go for Acilia, uh, who I believe is this chick right here, or do I want to go for Tamar? And I think we're going to go for Tamar. There's some nice stun in there. 
Um, I could use some more lightning heroes. She also looks cool. She's like an old granny. Uh, H-Dub says she's absolutely awesome and amazing in PvP. Um, and I think just being better in the Grand Gladiator Arena would be awesome. So these are the three we're going to pick. Let's receive that blessing. Uh, yeah, dude, I, uh, I know it can't be changed. I'm all in. Let's absolutely go. So we're going to need 11 more of these, so let's purchase those right now. And you can see, guys, like, I could get so many. Uh, <laughs> If, like, if you want to know how much these Veermaro go for, right? It's like 350 Veermaro for one of the premium Helolite Dice Summons. So we could get 49 more. But I'm going to keep saving for, like, when the next Dungeons & Dragons comes, uh, next Dungeons & Dragons collaboration summoning event. Or certainly uh, for Season 2, I'm probably going to want to do some nice summons with the new heroes that will be added. Uh, so we really just need the 11. So let's get these 11. It's going to cost me 3,850. 50! Veermaro, my premium currency. Now we have exactly 25, and that's what we're going to do. Because once we hit number 25, we'll get our selector. I will snag a Vitruk. So already, it's a, to me, this is a success. Because we're guaranteed that we're getting Vitruk, and I really, really want him. Is it Visuk or Vitruk? I feel like it's Vitruk. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, maybe we'll pick up some beautiful things as well along the way. I think what I want to do is we're going to do 5 pull, and then 5 singles, 5 pull, 5 singles, 5 pull. I think, I think that's a nice rhythm to it. Uh, maybe we'll end up being really, really lucky. That's my big hope here. So without further ado, we're getting into it. What's it going to be? <laughs> okay. All blues. Uh, what is the epic pity anyway? How did I get all blues? What, what the actual heck? Netta. Uh, these are all going to be like duplicates, I think. Yeah, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. We love an Usha. Two Usha at the end, too. Wow, okay. I thought the pity was like one epic every five. Clearly, I'm wrong. Let's actually see uh, where they explain it. You're guaranteed an epic at the seventh. Okay, so in one of these next two, we'll get it. But here you go. We're, we're one twentieth of the way there. Five out of twenty-five pulls towards getting our epic hero option selector and getting our Vichuk. Um, all right, let's do these singles now. Clearly, the five pull didn't help us. So let's do some singles. Watch. After all that, we're not even gonna get a legendary hero, right? <laughs> That's how it's gonna go. Uh, there's Wilt. Trying to think if I'm gonna wanna keep pulling even if we don't if, if we don't hit a legendary in these 25. Just just because come on, I wanna get a legendary for you guys. Here we go. Lola. I think she was also one of the selected ones. I don't know much about her. She's a support, she is lightning. Seems good. She's new, so we love new. Let's see. When attacking enemies under silence, 40% chance to change the silence into stun. I'm assuming she puts out silence. Yes, she does. Two lightning orbs, each dealing lightning damage, with a 50% chance of silence. Uh cool. And then she's got summons lightning to strike target areas three times, each uh, time to enemies within range, 50% chance of inflicting silence, and attack penalty two. She seems solid, not so special. Let me know what you guys think. Also increases all allies attack by 24% in all battles. That's pretty strong. Um, sweet. So that was, you know, we did our two more. That was our pity epic. Let's do three more singles, then we'll go back to a five pull. Let's see. Let's see. What's it gonna be? Keeping it with the rare rounds. There we go. A duplicate, of course. Two more of these singles, then we'll do a fiver. Who's it going to be now? Okay, we we're having literally basement rates. You know, we've done nine pulls. We've only hit one epic on the pity. No legendaries to speak of. Having a rough go of it right now, folks. Yes, we are. Who's it going to be? Also, apologies if I'm, apologies if I'm a little sniffly. I'm, I'm under the weather. Uh, there we've got Gulal. He's like a free hero from day one. Uh, one of the first rare free-to-play heroes they give you in the story. All right, I'm ready for a five pull because that was this has been this has been very hard to stomach. This has been rough. Ten in, not much to show. Maybe Lola's good. We'll see. There we go. Um, actually, I think that was the pity again, wasn't it? <laughs> I, think, I think we just hit the pity again. Uh, absolute basement. Fitz is a pretty good rare hero from what I hear. Let's keep going. And another Lola. Cool. I'm loving this, dude. I love I love this. This is so fun. I'm loving this. This is amazing. This is great. Just like I drew it up. I don't regret my decisions at all. You know, I would say we shouldn't do the singles because they were so unlucky, but we've been even, even worse on the five pulls, so we're just going to stick to the plan and, and hope it, something happens. I don't know. This is brutal right now. There we go. We hit one early one. Was he early? I don't know. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Caraman. Undead, neutral, good. He's a wild hero. I love myself some wild heroes. He looks pretty cool. He reminds me of Baron from uh, Watcher of Realms. Let's see. What does he do? Attack up and attack speed up upon this hero. Uh, when there's a successful wild check, that can be a check by him or any other wild heroes you're running with. 
so that, that seems pretty solid. Flash is behind the enemy with the lowest current HP, dealing fire damage, so he can go to like the back line, it sounds like. Uh, so maybe that's good for picking people off in PvP, I'm not sure. And targets them for, for an attack. After killing an enemy, resets the recharge time on this thing over here on his blazing kill. Finally, his ultimate charges at an enemy, dealing some big boy fire damage, ignoring 30% of the enemy's defense. So maybe that makes him pretty good against bosses? I don't know. Maybe he can fit into one of like my boss teams with my wild guys, but I've got pretty good wild heroes. Um, all right, we hit we hit one early. Finally, we didn't have to go to absolute full pity to get an epic. Will we get a single legendary hero? That's the question. You know what? It also is cool. We hit that, and we have we just had eight. Now we have seven more Heliolite die to do, which means we're guaranteed one more epic at worst case scenario. Hopefully, it's a little bit better than that. But uh, worst case, we'll get at least one, and then of course we'll get Vichuk from the selector. Blues on blues on blues. All right, our final one pull of the day, thank God. Then we'll do a five pull and basically get the heck out of here. We'll go snag our bitch hook and get the heck out of here. It's all blues. It always is. There's there's Megan. I like Megan. She's a good hero. I use her. Um, all right, let's click off. Let's try to reset our luck a little bit. Clicking all around. Here we go. Let's do a fiver. Come on now. We're five away. Oh, we got a master scroll, scroll for our trouble too. And an epic and a rare. That's great. Okay, come on. Turn gold. Turn gold. Please. Okay, because pity's 35, not 25, right? That's huge. Am I, I'm right. The pity's for a legendary is 35, so we hit that early. That's amazing. So we got Beric, that's a, a duplicate hero. We also snagged the epic. We had our epic pity in there, so we'll see. There, there's Tamar. Okay, so I was just talking uh, about Tamar with with H dubs and all the cool stuns in her kit. So I'm really excited. Cast a lightning strike on the enemy whenever they gain a buff dealing uh, some lightning derivative damage, so we'll have to put enlightenment on her. 30% chance of dispelling one buff from them. Skill only takes effect once on the same target in every five seconds, it looks like. Thunder War Song, her battle skill, unleashes fourth lightning, dealing 300% uh, lightning damage. This isn't derivative, so there's only this derivative, it looks like, just from the passive skill uh, every five seconds. Uh, to enemies within range, 75% chance of dispelling one buff, so lots of buff to spell, which is pretty good in this game. And a big attack penalty too, that's solid. And now we're going to get the stuns. Unleashes a powerful lightning storm, 700% lightning damage to all enemies. And look at that, the range is everywhere, so that's really fun. And there's a 100% chance with skill ups of a full buff prohibition, that's really nice. For enemies without any buff, there's a 75% chance, and this also goes up to 100% chance to inflict that stun. She seems like a really, really good crowd control kind of hero. I'm very happy we snagged her. The captain skill increases all allies' accuracy by 65 in the Grand Gladiator Arena. So definitely a, a really, really important as like a PvP champ, right? She's going to lock people out uh, from dealing big damage with the attack penalty too. Uh, she's going to keep them from buffing themselves with the buff prohibition. And then for the ones where she, they didn't have any buffs, she's also going to land some nice stun. I'm very excited uh, to see if I can fit her into my PvP team. Awesome stuff. We love that. Okay, sweet. And for the epic, we got Questa, who is a necrotic human neutral evil support. Let's go really quick here. Every time an enemy hero dies, recovery over time to all allies. That's really nice. 1.5 max HP every second for 10 seconds. There's a 15% heal over 10 seconds. Uh, tormentation. Tormentation. I never heard that word in my life. Battle skill. Uh, charges towards the enemy with the lowest current HP, dealing necrotic damage. 100% chance of skill ups for attack penalty 2. Uh, jumps towards an enemy, necrotic damage, steals 30% of their ult energy, and heals the hero uh, by her attack. So, fairly selfish hero. She doesn't seem that good. And then again, kind of PvP-oriented. Nice. And then there is Notira, one of our other starter rare heroes. But we snagged the Tamar. Yes, that was our blessed summon. Uh, I'm glad we got that. And then most important, we get our selector. So can I go use this, or do I have to go to like my backpack? How do I actually even access that? Let's go to our backpack. Uh, where are you hiding out? There it is. I just saw it. Where is it? Here we go. Let's get our guy. Come on, Vichuk, Vichuk, Vichuk. Let's go. And that's just a beautiful thing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Honestly, hell of a sesh. We snagged, snagged the leg legendary on our absolute last pull. We got Vichuk, who I absolutely wanted. That's why I did this whole thing. Uh, if you want to be playing Dragonair Silent Gods with me, absolutely download it using the link in my description or the top pinned comment. PC, mobile, Steam, Epic Games, available everywhere. Get in here, play alongside me. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not stopping anytime soon. I've been Vicidious. If you like my stuff, like it. Get in the comments, subscribe, share it with your mother, and I'll see you real soon.
fast idiots.